Welcome to Open the Book. And last week, we told you a very sad story about the day Jesus died. Today's story starts with Jesus' friends being very sad still. But the story has a happy ending. Now, today's story, we've got some actions you might like to join in with. So when you hear the word birds, let's make a little birdie and go tweet, tweet, tweet. When you hear the word angel, want you to make it a halo on your head with your finger and say ting, ting, ting. When you hear the word tomb, you put two fingers together to make a cross and a T, hear the word tomb. And when you hear the word shake, it's as if everything is shaking and you can join in with that. Right, let's begin. A happy day. It was very early. The birds tweet, 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 were still in bed and the sun had yet to open its bright eye on the world. The sky was grey and grainy. The air was cold and a group of women walked slowly towards the graveyard. Jesus was buried there, and the women were coming to visit his grave. They talked in sad whispers. They cried. They held each other's hands. Jesus had been dead for three days. And they missed him very much. Just as they reached the graveyard, however, some surprising things happened. The ground began to shake. The air began to tremble and quick as lightning. An angel ding, 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 flashed down from heaven and rolled the stone away from Jesus's tomb. Everything was quiet. The ground stopped moving, but the women shook with fear. Don't be afraid. Come and see. The tomb is empty. Jesus oh. is alive. Arm in arm, the women crept past the angel, Ting, and the two. The sheets were still there. The sheets they had wrapped round his dead body, but Jesus himself was gone. Where is he? What have you done with him? I told you, he's not dead anymore. He's come back to life and he wants you to tell all his friends. The women looked at each other. They didn't know whether to laugh or cry. They could hardly believe it. That is, until they hurried out the tomb and ran straight into Jesus. Oh, oh Jesus, it's true. You are alive. And they fell at his feet amazed. There's no need to be afraid anymore. God has made everything all right. But I have a job for you. I want you to tell the rest of my friends that I am alive. Tell them I will meet them on the seashore in Galilee where all our adventures started. The women waved goodbye and hurried off to Jerusalem. The birds tweet, 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 were singing now. The sun's bright eye was wide open and they had the most amazing story to tell. 
For Christians, this is the most important story of all because it tells how Jesus won the battle against everything that is bad and proved his power by coming back to life. Christians celebrate this story every year on Easter Sunday. Close your eyes and think about the part of the story where the women saw Jesus alive again. Imagine how wonderful that must have been. Now I'm going to say a prayer, and if you want to make it your prayer, say amen at the end with me. Dear God, thank you for this story that tells us the wonderful news that Jesus is alive. Thank you that you love us all so much that you planned a way that Jesus could be our friend for always. Amen. Amen. amen.